In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Starting off with some pull-ups I did as many reps as I could And these were supposed to be eccentric pull-ups Meaning going slow on the way down But I wasn't strong enough that day to do those but if you have an assisted pull-up machine at your gym, I recommend you do those on there instead. And if you are able to do a couple pull-ups, go ahead and give it a try. Moving on to barbell squats. Now for the first set, I went pretty heavy. But like I said before, I just wasn't feeling that strong this day, so I lowered the weight for the rest of my sets. Now with this, I wanted to tell you guys, whenever you're at the gym and you're lifting and you feel like the weight is too heavy, or if, even if it's a normal weight that you're used to doing, and if, that, if it doesn't feel right, I recommend that you lower the weight and continue your workout because that is the best way to prevent yourself from getting injured. to barbell hip thrust here I'm hip thrusting 225 and I'm using a body by Nelsie resistance band those bands will be in my description box below and on my website if you want to purchase them I still have a Black Friday sale going on and they are only $13 for two bands so be sure to check those out and get your hands on those now with hip thrust like I said before first set higher weight and second set lowered the weight and as you can see, it was burning. <laughs> Next we have a superset, so we're going to be supersetting the hack squat with a sissy squat. So you can set up the hack squat and do a reverse hack squat is when you're facing the machine and basically self-explanatory and then you're going to superset that with sissy squats. And with the superset, sissy squats is when you're literally on the tip of your toes and you're bending forward. And this will target the quads and it's a really good burn. So if you've never tried this out, I recommend you do. It's basically like a leg extension standing up. So if you don't have a leg extension machine at your gym, I recommend you do body weight sissy squats. Next we have dumbbell step ups and we're going to do one leg at a time and as you guys are going to see on the way down during the step ups I'm not going down super fast. I'm literally sliding my foot 
on the box and going down really slow. And on the way up, I'm not using my leg that's not working to push myself up. I'm literally just sliding it against. So that's how you should be doing your step ups. Don't use too much momentum and power because otherwise you're not really going to get the benefits of the movement. <laughs> Lastly, we have dumbbell thrusters. So basically, you're going to hold the dumbbells up to your shoulder and you're going to squat. And then when you come back up, you're going to do a shoulder press at the top. And that was basically it for today's workout. I really enjoyed this workout. I did it twice. So I did this Friday and the next Friday again, I did it. So for most of my workouts, I always repeat them and i'm never changing my up my workouts too much because repetition is what will give you the most progress and to come in the visit no he wouldn't miss it